everyone so today I'm going to be going over how to make a full bling tumbler uh, these are all the supplies you will need and of course the tumbler that you're wanting to bling out so this one is a 20 ounce straight tumbler stainless steel and it is already painted and prepped and ready to go so I'll be showing you what you'll be needing and these are all from be createful Dot com. So we have a pack of SS20s, um, also can be known as 5 millimeters in Aquamarine AB, and they're so pretty. So for this 20 ounce tumbler, um, I'll probably be using the whole pack and half of, pa half of the other pack. Um, so each pack has about 1400 rhinestones, so we'll see how many we get through, but two packets will be enough for sure. And then I also have the multi-size multi, multi size pack, and they range from SS6, SS10, SS12, SS16, SS20, and even SS30. So I'll really just be using SS20 through SS6. These big ones are, I'm not going to be using the SS30s. So these were, will also be known as what we call fillers. So we'll fill in small spaces where the bigger stones don't fit. And we also have the glues that we'll be using. So Super Tight Fusion Tack Adhesive is a really beginner friendly glue. It goes on white and dries clear. It is non-toxic. You can use it on fabric, glass, leather, plastic, wood, even stainless steel tumblers. Um, there's lots of uses for this and it needs 24 hours to fully dry. And I like to let the cups sit and dry a little bit longer, so I'll wait about three to five days before I go ahead and wash it and uh, start using it. So this is the glue, it has the instructions, pretty simple. And what I like to do is put that glue into one of these dispensers. So these are my favorite, personally, you can fill the bottle up and it has a little precision tip so it's super easy to glide around the cup. And I'll demonstrate how. I do that and then whenever you're not using it it has a little lid to keep the glue from clogging and the best way to store it whenever you're not using it is upside down there is also another glue bottle you can use from be createful and it has a lid that you kind of just push down twist open and it has that precision tip right there and you just squeeze it on this one right here is a wax tipped precision uh, wax tip rhinestone picker and then on the end it has a smaller tip where you can kind of move around and push down just to make sure your rhinestone is really um, sitting on there really well now these tips are replaceable so you screw them on and off oops you can screw them on and off and I do have a replacement just in case but I can do the whole cup with just one tip and still have enough left for many other tumblers now, with this one, this one's really cool. It's a much smaller one, and it has a smaller tip for a little tiny rhinestone. So I might be using this for the SS6s and 10s, maybe even 12s. And then you can also replace the tip. They're just screw on and off. So with this one, you also have the other end where you just have that same kind of tip like this one, and you can kind of push down so here's another glue option. It is the Super Tight Multi Grab 360. And this one is the same brand. It's just a lot stronger. It has much more uses. So we'll be trying this one out too for this video. The best way to use this is to apply it onto the cup and wait about two minutes. And then you can start applying the rhinestones and it will adhere very nicely. So we'll be trying both of these out today. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fill up my bottle with the super tight fusion tack adhesive. So what you can do is twist the nozzle open and then you can just squeeze it right on in here. Alright, so for this next part, um, I went ahead and sanded down my entire tumbler. I used a sanding block just like this. And I went ahead and just sanded down that finished coating um, just so I can make sure when I apply my glue and my rhinestones, it'll adhere really well to the tumbler. So you can see I've already sanded it down 
It doesn't have that shine anymore, but it is dusty from that coating. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just touch up any spots that I may have missed while going through, which is looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is get a microfiber cloth just like this. And I am going to put a little bit of 70% um, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Any percent is fine. You can use 70, you can use 90. Um, I just like the 70. There's not really any reason. Um, so I went ahead and just put a little dab on there. Got some on my table here. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just wipe it down. Just to get that dust coating off. looking pretty good. And now I'm going to take the dry part and just kind of dry it off. Okay, so there you have it. Now it's prepped and let's get started on blinging. So these are the shaker trays that I will be using. They come with three sets which open up to be six. You have different sizes like this. Um, these are also available on Be Create Full's website. So they open up like this. The first one I'm going to get um, opened is the SS20 pack. Just like that. We'll go ahead and help open that up. So once I get that open, I'm going to pour it into the biggest tray here because I'm going to be using this one the most. That's about good for now, and I'll fill it up later when I run low. So I'm going to go ahead and put away these smaller size since I won't be needing them right now. And that's what we're going to use. And look at how pretty they are. I like to grab a little post-it note or piece of paper and kind of just run a couple lines through just to make sure there are no air bubbles. So we're good. Now I'm gonna just get my tumbler and we'll get that first row started. So what we're gonna be doing the honeycomb pattern for this tumbler. So what I'm gonna do is start with my first line around the top rim, so where it's open, and I'll show you how to keep the lines really straight going all the way across. So the first thing you're gonna do is just lay down your glue at the rim. You want to make sure you get a good amount, but not too much. Okay, so now that we have our first row of glue, I'm going to get our rhinestone picker upper tool just like that. And what you're going to do is just pick up one rhinestone at a time and start laying them down around the rim. And you want to make sure you get them as close together as possible here. Um, that way, whenever you do your next row, the rhinestones fit perfectly um, on, on top of each other and you won't have any gaps. The more gaps you have, the more you'll have to use the filler stones and it will make the process a little bit more difficult. So we're going to try to get this as close as we can to each other and lay them down straight. And what you want to do is whenever you place one rhinestone, you kind of want to push it down, not too hard, but just enough to where you make sure the rhinestone is actually flat to the cup and not just sitting on top of the glue, if that makes sense. So put it on just like that. And then as you see, I kind of like tap it down just like one or two times just to ensure that it's really sitting on there and the glue is spread out all over the bottom of the um, rhinestone. We're getting close to finishing up the first line. I'm gonna try my best to make sure that all the rhinestones fit together and this last one gets in there just perfectly. So. The next step is making sure that this line is all the way to the to the rim 
and it's super straight. So the way I like to do that is actually flip it upside down and put it on a flat surface like this. And I'm gonna use this side of the tool and kind of push them down. As you can see, they still have a little bit of space to go all the way down. And this is gonna help ensure that the line is super straight. So I'm just gonna keep going and keep pushing them just like that. Honestly, this is probably the most important step when making a honeycomb tumbler. Because if this line is not straight, then it's almost guaranteed that the rest of the lines will not be straight. And that's where you'll start to see the curve um, as you do the rest of the cup. So this part is super important. So if you need to really take your time, do it and just really focus on making sure that these rhinestones are pushed all the way down. Okay, so they're all pushed down. I'm just going through and double checking one more time that they are all down. I kind of like to tap on the top so I don't like to be too hard. Just be really gentle because you don't want to accidentally push one too hard and the one next to it starts to move because that can happen. Okay, so now that this first line is all the way to the rim, I am going ahead and let it sit for about 10 minutes or so and just make sure that the glue is really tacky so that way when I do my next line right on top, if I push down on them, it won't move the first line. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, so we're back and we're ready to do the rest of the tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the next row of glue. Now I'm going to show you, as I did the first line, you can do a line across. Or if you would like, you can also do what's called the dotting method. So you just place dots just like that in between each place where you're going to set a rhinestone down. So I'll demonstrate both. There's not really a method that's better than the other. It's just personal preference. So now that we have four lines down, I'm going to switch over to the super tight multi-use um, 360, the multi-grab 360 glue, and I will demonstrate how to use this one.
up on the last couple of rows. about half of the pack left in the SS 20s so a pack and a half was enough for that 20 ounce tumbler so if you were to get two packs of SS 20s and a multi-pack you will be perfectly fine for a 20 ounce all right so there we have it we completed a full bling 20 ounce tumbler and I think it looks pretty good so I hope this video was helpful